Welcome to the Version 1 SAM Teams series of short fireside chat. My name is Jason Pepper and I will be joined in these sessions by my colleague Brian Lavelle. In each of these videos we will take a few minutes to talk about all things software asset management and license optimization, and highlight some of the license impacts caused by typical business compelling events or change. In this chat we'll discuss some of the challenges your business may face if you do not consider license policies and contract when moving on-premise workloads to the cloud and some actions you can take to minimize risk and cost. So um, obviously cloud is a incredibly prevalent topic at the moment. Yeah. Um, in circumstances where customers are looking to move uh, on-premise workloads to the cloud, what kind of things should we be looking out for in terms of problems that they might face? Um, so I won't surprise you to hear me say licensing <laughs> is, a, uh, is a key one, but but genuinely, um, it's something that we we've seen quite a lot where licensing can have a big impact on the, the overall cost of the project because licensing rules tend to be different for cloud than they are for on-premise. They tend to be different depending on which cloud you're in um, and which software you're using, et cetera, et cetera. So it can have a big impact on the overall cost of the project. But what can happen is people don't look at it straight away. So it's not done at the very start of the project. So when you get to the point where you have your technical solution, you know exactly what you want it to do. At that point, you look at the licenses and realize, actually, this is half a million pounds more than what we have at the minute. Um, so it's a real key one to either to build a project that includes license costs, if that's something that you need to do. So if if technically the project requires more, you know, more licenses, more compute power, then that's fine. Um, if it doesn't and you don't want to spend any more money on licenses, what looking at the start of the project gives you is the ability to say, right, well, when we move to the cloud, we need to do that within this ring fence of licenses. So we can design whatever we want, but it can't go outside of this size, because if it does, we're going to get hit with some sort of compliance bill. Um, so that's kind of a real key thing, is at the very outset of the project is, you know, think about the license implication of what you're doing and how that differs, depending on which cloud provider you're talking about. Right. So it kind of sounds like the licenses is, is it, or the license assessment is a key part of any kind of transition project, and it, it really should be in there by default. Yeah, massively, because there's you know there's the compliance issue. So what you don't want to do, obviously, is you don't want to move to the cloud, find out you don't have enough licenses at some point down the line. Um, but also, it's a way of potentially reducing license spend. So if you can if you can move an on-premise environment to the cloud that requires less compute power, less processors, it could be a case so that you free up some licenses. Whether you can easily cancel those is a, a different co topic of conversation, but it's potentially something that you can do, so it could potentially be a cost saver as well. So yeah, absolutely, it's it's something we recommend customers do almost as a first port to call, because sometimes it can be a case of, well, actually, to do what we want to do from a licensing perspective is prohibitive. So we need to look at something totally different. Right, wow, okay. And so doing that is going to give you a number of key benefits, I guess, is it? Yeah, um, I mean, there's financial is obviously the, you know, the simple one, but also it, it gives you the ability to correctly plan for what you're doing. And that's, that's a really important point, is that it's not that the licenses are potentially going to stop your project, it's not that they're going to be a, you know, a roadblock, it's more just that by doing that, you know what either your limitation is or you know what the potential cost is. Right. Um, and that's kind of what we do with a lot of customers is, um, you know, getting to that point. And also, again, like we discussed quite a lot, is establishing that first baseline position because, again, you know, there can be a lot of presumptions with, with these kind of projects that say, well, we're currently using, you know, 50 processors and 50 licenses, so that's what we have to move to the cloud. The reality is that you could actually own 50 licenses, but you're only genuinely using 25 of them. So you actually have a lot more options when it comes to a cloud migration without having a license impact. But the only way to identify that is to do that kind of work up front to say, this is the impact that the, the cloud journey is going to have on our license position. Right. Excellent. No worries. Thanks. 
This fireside chat is part of a series of chats covering a wide range of licensed topics which you can find at our SAM YouTube playlist below. You can also review our content on LinkedIn by using the hashtag SAMVideoChat. Finally, if you have a licensed concern or would like to understand how your IT projects impact your enterprise licensing, please contact us for an initial complimentary consultation at www.version1.com contact. Thank you.